You're watching WMAR 2 News. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. A vigil is scheduled for tonight in memory of the local high school student who died after being injured in a football game. Elijah Gorham died Monday after the, his injury in a game last month. Gorham played for the Mervo High School Mustangs. School's holding a candlelight vigil on their football field. That's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight. The team was scheduled to have a game today, but the head coach says that's now been postponed to allow for the vigil to happen instead. There's new speed and red light cameras being activated soon in Baltimore City, two of them in Northeast Baltimore. Baltimore, Sedonia Avenue near Radicke Avenue and Walther Avenue just south and west of Echo Dale. There's also going to be a new camera on North Fulton Avenue in West Baltimore and Hillsdale Road near Liberty Heights Avenue in Northwest Baltimore. Speed cameras cost you $40. Those tickets cameras only active from six in the morning until eight at night. Red light cameras are active 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that ticket would cost you $75. Two of the new ones will be in East Baltimore, the intersections of Patterson Park Avenue in Orleans and Elwood Avenue at East Fayette. The third at Huntington Avenue at 28th Street in Remington. The new cameras go into effect on Monday, October the 25th. And this year's Fill the House campaign is going on right now. In support of House of Ruth, Maryland, several places you can drop off donations, including clothing, bedding, diapers, at branches of People's Bank is one of the locations we're collecting. And on October 20th, we'll be out all day at Towson Place Shopping Center collecting for you. We have all that information on the website right now, WMAR2news.com slash Fill the house. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Thursday, everyone. On this Thursday, we are tracking more sunshine for today. Also tracking warming temperatures. We'll head to the upper 70s to right around low 80s, and that trend is going to continue for the next several days. And we're also tracking the next chance for some showers and thunderstorms that will roll in here as we head into your Saturday. But for today, numbers staying above average. We are going to have that scenario and then big changes coming in because of the fact we will have a cold front that moves in. That cold front is going to drop those temperatures as we work our way in through your Sunday and beyond. So that's something to look forward to. Definitely going to feel more like fall, but not so much for today is that high temperature close to 80, about 81 degrees. Thanks, Lynette. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news weather on the go. You can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.